Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, weekend update show. So um, I, I woke up today um, very, very happy. Okay, it wasn't that I bought something new or I'm looking forward to taking a vacation or getting a new car or any anything that you know, many people, unfortunately, and again, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm no different than anybody else. You don't, you don't realize it in the moment, but things that we can buy um, a lot of times, right? Materialistic things, a lot of times subconsciously, they give us that, you know, they give us that extra boost. Okay. It almost like validates uh, what we want. And, you know, I woke up this morning and I didn't have, you know, anything on my mind. I didn't want anything. Um, I wasn't looking forward to buying anything. I was just generally happy that the first time in my life that I could honestly say that I have food in my refrigerator, I have a roof over my head, I'm lucky enough to be uh, married for almost 20 years, uh, 21 years in July, my wife's gonna kill me, uh, have two wonderful kids, and we're just alive. And I started really thinking about you know, the surreal events in my life uh, and going back to the worst, I mean, the absolute worst part of my uh, trading career, uh, which was two years after the internet craze. This is two years after the greatest experience that most traders would ever see in such a short period of time. And from 2001 to 2003, and a lot of you guys know this, but I didn't make a single penny, not, not, a, not a dime. And um, I was working for a hedge fund in, in South Florida. Um, and I, I was the absolute worst trader on the planet. And there was, there, was, there was no second. There was no second. There was no third. I was the absolute worst. I, I didn't have a single, I think, winning month or even winning week um, for two years. And that was the darkest part of my life. And, you know, the thoughts of, uh, and unfortunately, again, and, and I'm not embarrassed to say this now, uh, but it was, you know, there was a lot of demons in me back then that thoughts of suicide, okay, were very, very real. And I had to overcome that. And through all that time, okay, God was always there. A lot of times, you know, you turn around and you don't really appreciate when you have a very, very strong belief that somebody or something or whatever, a series of events, something is with you, you know, that's always going to help you. That's always going to look out for you. And life is just one big test. It really is. And uh, unfortunately, right now, I know a lot of people, you know, look in the world, you know, you know, we're talking about it always from the market point of view. And we're talking about it from the point of, wow, look how great this market's acting, despite what's going on in the world. But people are going through some serious issues. I mean, 30, 35 million people are unemployed right now. Okay, they don't know. Um, you know, they don't know what their, you know, what their future uh, has, to, has to offer. And uh, unfortunately, we don't know. You know, we're not promised tomorrow. We're not, you know, we're not, I'm not promised 15 minutes after I record this video. So I, I think, you know, the way we look at life kind of, especially growing up in our society, you know, everybody want, you know, in your early 20s, you want the new watch. Okay, now you have the new watch. Now what? You want the new car. Okay, now you have the new car. Now what? You want your first home. Okay, now you have your first home. Now what? There, there has to be, you know, there has to be a higher, um, a higher purpose, right? I mean, there has to be a higher purpose of happiness. And when I woke up this morning, you know, I, I really felt, not the, for the first time in my life, because I'm very, very appreciative kind of what I've been through and where I am right now, but the first time in my life I could actually wake up and turn around and say, I'm pretty happy right now. You know what I mean? I'm pretty happy. And I think the blessings, okay, of God, and again, I don't want to turn this in this whole crazy thing, but I, I think what a lot of people lose track of is that blessings are all around us. Okay. You, you could be 
struggling right now, whether it's your marriage, uh, whether it's your finances, uh, whatever, whatever the case may be, and God forbid, you know, maybe your health, but the, there, there, there's definitely things around that, you know, you are being tested, okay, and, you know, our characters are being tested, uh, our resilience is being tested in every single level, different ways, and I, I you know, I, I do want to say I'm, I'm, I'm not a perfect person, I could always be a better father, better husband, sure, better, better trader, right? Um, but I, I have to say that I, I think that us collectively as human beings, we, we have to believe um, that there is something there out there for us, that no matter what happens, that we're going to be okay. And if you are uh, going through hardships right now, um, you know, just understand that have faith, okay? If your trading career is not progressing, uh, as fast as you'd like it to be. Again, take time. Okay, take time. Again, I'm not perfect. I not even the closest. I'm you know, again the biggest idiot on the planet. Uh, I don't have any, all the answers, but I'm trying. You know what I mean? I'm trying just like everybody else. So, uh, if you are having a, a very bad time at this juncture of your life, you know, have faith. God will be there for you. Okay, as long as you continue to believe and as long as you uh, continue to uh, have resilience. Okay, you are going to be. Uh, okay, so I want to, before we even get to anything, I want to wish everybody an incredibly blessed life. That's the best way of saying it. Um, have a blessed life. Uh, try to smile. Okay, sometimes things do get hard, uh, but try to smile. And the most important thing is just keep on pushing forward. So I wish you all uh, the best for your families, uh, for your future, uh, and for your for the rest of your life. So uh, God bless. So. Uh, let's talk about the markets. Um, a really, really good week. Uh, Friday, Friday was a very slow, painful day. Um, literally everything that we were watching pretty much triggered. It feels like after three o'clock, after three thirty. By then, I was already, I lost interest. But it, what's amazing about this market, and you know, the scoreboard is really not going to uh, paint the full picture. You had the uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Losing 2.7 percent for the week, uh, you had the S and P losing 2.3 percent. The Nasdaq did very well, and again, the scoreboard will won't paint a picture. If you look at the the final numbers, uh, the Qs, right, the Nasdaq 100, um, they were down 1.2 percent of the week. But if you look at where these beta names are, where they close, they either a lot of these names either broke out, okay, or very very close to breaking out, and it really does show you that. And I, I kind of titled this uh, during the middle of the week. It's the George Costanza market, right? Nothing that you think makes sense. Well, it makes sense right now. And the amazing part of what we're seeing right now is the incredible resilience uh, of the bulls. And when you look at where the market started uh, for the week, kind of giving that last gasp of really, really aggressive run up into this linear regression line, and came Tuesday that we talked about a potential rollover. And again, that's exactly what happened. We had a 500 point day uh, on Tuesday. If you've been watching these videos all week, you kind of see the chronological order of what happened. And this is what's great about uh, the YouTube platform or any recorded platform. You kind of see my journey. You kind of see my thought process kind of every day. There is no, you know, Monday morning quarterback. This is what should have happened. And this is what that happened. This is what we're going through, you know. So this is what we're going through if we're living in real life. You have to be trading in real life. And the most amazing part is the bulls really could have, I mean, really gotten decimated. You know, two days in a row of selling and the bulls did, again, an incredible job. That's the same thing they've been doing now uh, since this whole corona mess uh, started in the first place. And they had every reason, every absolute reason uh, to roll over. But again, just like we've been seeing since uh, the March what was it? The March 23rd lows. The bulls keep on fighting back. Uh, the money flow continues to be there. The option flow continues to uh, be putting traders in a position for deep out of the money bets, speculation bets. So the idea that uh, fear uh, is in the marketplace is completely false because again, when you're you know, taking bets and you see, you know, for all you guys who watch option flow regularly, you see, I mean, there's, there, there are people taking hundreds of thousands of million dollar bets, you know, ridiculously out of the money. And these are all 
bull market tendencies. These are not bear market tendencies. Bear market tendencies, you know, don't have 80, $100 bets, for example, on Amazon with a two week expiration. They don't have $60 out of the money bets with two weeks of expiration of Tesla, right? You don't have these things in, in a bear market. And the most amazing part is now that we're slowly but surely, and again, I don't want to get in the whole politics. Um, I'm more of a conservative uh, person. Again, maybe it's a selfish thing to say, but again, you know, me being home doesn't kind of change my life, but I get it. We've been saying this nonstop. People need to work. Okay. So I am, you know, going to try to be a lot more sympathetic with that idea. I get it. You know, you need to work, you need to leave your house. So the fact that states are opening up slowly, is there an optimism that the economy, okay, forget about the, the health ramifications of it, okay? Um, the fact that the states are opening up, is this giving a lot more leeway, a lot more, um, a lot more uh, leash to, to, to the bulls? And I think it does. And I think that the prospects of more and more states slowly, responsibly uh, opening up is going to give the bulls a lot more uh, fuel to the fire. And it, it really is amazing that if you are a bear and you've been kind of shorting this market for the last uh, two, you know, two months or so, now you're, you know, you're really at that point that we discussed uh, three, four days back. At, at what point do you call this more than a bear cat bounce, right? A, a dead cat, bear cat, dead cat, whatever the hell you want to call it, bounce. Um, and what we did on Friday was actually exceptional, really, really exceptional. Not only did we hold this rising 20 minutes, uh, rising 20 day supply, okay, excuse me, rising 20 day support, we reclaimed the five day moving average. And if you kind of go back to three days ago when we talked about the bears reclaimed the five day moving average, right, and we confirmed we went lower, the bulls reclaimed the five day moving average back, right, on Friday. And if we confirm that, then we're going to start heading back to this 228 level on the queues. And if we start breaking 228 on the queues where they got rejected several times, then we start going to 231. And anything above 231, guys, we're going to all time highs. Again, keep this in mind. The economy is pretty much still shut down. 30, 35 million people um, still unemployed, right? Or filing for unemployed. You know, businesses, small businesses are constantly. You know, going away, and that's the most you know uh, uh, that's the, the most saddest and depressing part. It's not that you know Dick's Sporting Goods <laughs> is closed, and you know so you know you're talking about candy shops, you're talking about shoe you know shoe repairs, um, you know uh, yogurt stands, small mom and pop businesses that unfortunately are not going to survive this. I think that's where the better you know that's where the biggest you know uh, problem is. Of course, the airlines eventually will supply you know. Some will go bankrupt, but again, bankruptcy in the corporate world means restructure, reorganization, okay? Um, bankruptcy in real life, okay, if you have, for example, you know, hot dog stand, I'm just, I'm, anything, you're not coming back from that. And, and that's where I think a lot of people are disconnecting Wall Street from Main Street. There's going to be a lot of uh, casualties, unfortunately, uh, with this coronavirus. And it's just not going to end when everybody, for example, goes outside to your local Starbucks. Okay, this is going to be a multi-year recovery if they recover at all. So before we start talking about and laughing, ha, 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 the airlines, the cruise ships, they're going to go bankrupt. Well, I mean, nobody's really laughing about that. But, you know, they're going to survive because they're always going to reorganize. They're always going to, uh, you know, they're always going to work with their creditors. Unfortunately, mom and pop. Uh, who can't afford to pay for their restaurant, okay, can't afford to pay the rent uh, anymore on their, you know, anything, shoe repair shop, uh, they're going to feel it. So those are the people we really have to, uh, obviously, uh, say our prayer for. Um, again, really, really good aggressive market uh, this week. Um, I, I thought beta did very, very well, both long and short. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys that do trade beta, and again, when I mean beta, first time you guys, if anybody's listening to this broadcast, beta is the, the most aggressive stocks in the market, the stocks with uh, the biggest average true ranges. So uh, your Amazons of the world, your Facebook, your Teslas, uh, NVIDIA has been an absolute monster. And again, just to give you an idea how strong this market is, when you, when, when you woke up this morning, uh, we woke up Friday morning, you saw the news, the China trade wars, right? And there's, there's no bigger group 
that is a casualty of any China trade war are these chips, right? The chip makers. And when you look at NVIDIA, what it did on Friday, from the time that it, it opened, you know, it opened down like nine points. And what you saw when the video do, and again, they're reporting this week, was absolutely phenomenal. When you see uh, companies like, you know, AMAT, right? When you have companies like AMAT, they're coming out with earnings and they get destroyed. And you look at the video just to see how, what the difference between beta darlings are compared to an average stock that, again, maybe some people invest in, but you don't really trade AMAT. You know, you trade NVIDIA, like we trade, you know, NVIDIA all the time. So when you look at beta, right? Cold stock versus an average true stock in its group, it's apples to oranges. And it really does show you the strongest stocks kept on rising to the top in the videos of the world. Netflix broke out, right? Big, big, it's been a big mover all week. We, you know, we caught this Netflix several times this week. Really, really strong move. Uh, Amazon, again, continues to see very, very strong, aggressive, uh, bullish option flow. Okay, we're literally like a day away from taking out uh, the previous, you know, the previous highs last week and, you know, has, has a legitimate shot back to uh, the 2450s. Tesla, with everything that's going on, the CEO... Uh, downgrading his own stock and evaluation, it's literally one day away going back, you know, going back to this 840s level. Just needs to confirm this five day moving average where we got stuffed now twice in back to back days. So if Tesla reclaims this five day moving average, okay, it's going to skyrocket again. Uh, if you look at Apple, for example, look at the run that Apple has been on. I mean, just absolutely, and it's up, you know, 10 out of the last 12 days. And again, it's just one day away of reclaiming the five-day moving average and snapping right back. Look at Alibaba. Even again, if you turn around, and this is, you know, this is a nice setup here for, for, for Monday. If you look at Alibaba, you know, through all that's going on with China, with this, that, and the third, again, all it needs to do, you can see here visually, okay, you don't even need to understand the dynamics of the PS60 theory. Just visually, you can see it got rejected here, got rejected here. If it reclaims, it goes back to this range here, which is the 208 level. And if it reclaims 208, it has a move back to 212. So we're getting a lot of really strong bullish names. Chipotle, you figure again, you know, the restaurants, you know, most, you know, most names are closing down. They're making money on the deliveries. Look at, look at the move. This is a genuine V-shaped recovery on Chipotle. Look at Zoom. As many times as they try to, you know, people are coming out with the, uh, Facebook coming out with their own um, webinar thing and, and Google uh, with, with, the, with, the, with their own webinar. Thing. Look, I mean, Zoom, Zoom is literally, you know, five, four or five bucks away from 52-week highs. So, it's an amazing, amazing market. The stocks that have the big, big runs. Again, look, are they, you know, is there inevitable that a BYND, for example, BYND and a stock like Tulo, if you look at BYND now, three days in a row of lower highs, I'm still waiting for that one big back test uh, next week. I think it could happen. You have one, two, three days in a row of uh, all lower highs. It just needs to reclaim this area here. The bears need to reclaim, confirm, and you should get a move somewhere around this 122 initial move here. So I'm kind of watching that. Uh, Tulo, the same, had a big, big monster run. Again, for, you know, first, uh, first inverted hammer. This is obviously uh, a sell signal. If it could just start reclaiming this number here, I mean, it could get back down to 161. So there's definitely levels of interest for me, uh, not only from uh, the bullish side from this week, and there's some phenomenal setups, uh, but from the sell side as well. Too low, I like. Uh, BYND, I like, obviously, if they confirm. Uh, Roku, uh, Roku looks like next leg down is coming up, and this thing actually triggered the proper way uh, on Friday after I left. The most ironic part about Friday's session, it was dead. It was completely dead. Um, everything was sitting in the middle of the ranges. People were waiting for Trump. Uh, to speak at noon, and nothing was really going on. We kind of saw a little bit of progression, kind of a slow drip uh, for the bulls back to the upside. Uh, and then after three o'clock, if you just if you were just able to keep your eyes open after a long week and it were around after three three thirty in the last hour forty five minutes of the day, you caught some of these pivots. Other than that, it was just a very very slow day. But again, Roku uh, looks like there's some value to the downside as well. So uh, we're getting a good back. You know, we really are getting a good. A uh, mix of uh, long setups uh, going into tomorrow's session, uh, short setups, uh, and the most important part is, again, business as usual. We're just sitting there uh, waiting confirmation. Uh, again, do I have all the answers in the world? No. You know, I'm just living life like everybody else. Uh, again, I'm the king of the idiots. 
Uh, I'm just like everybody else. Again, I've just been doing this for such a long time that you kind of know the ramifications of what happens if you try to guess, if you try to pretend you're smart. You got to dumb it down, right? That, that analogy, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. I mean, I think I was born to that analogy. So the idea that we need to be perfect as traders, as parents, as husbands, as friends, as fathers, right? We, we don't need to be perfect. We just need to be patient. Uh, we need to wait for uh, confirmation. And from that happens, you know, obviously you need to strike with uh, extreme confidence um, and a lot of conviction. That's what trading is all about. So uh, let's talk about Friday session. Again, <laughs> painfully slow, like really, really slow here. Um, so here's kind of my, you know, here's kind of uh, my, my notes uh, Thursday into Friday session. So uh, I, I wrote, I got 2.30, and this was speaking Thursday. I go, I was 100% convinced it was a bull trap. And then by four o'clock, the cues reclaimed supply. Okay, this is why, again, uh, Wall Street and the market is the greatest reality show that's not on television. Again, you, you just don't know what to expect. You, you know, your ideas and your perception of what happens next changes on a dime. And just like that, I turned bye byes by, you know, by, by Thursday night. And seven o'clock in the morning, everything again gapped down on the China trade war. So again, I go, I'm clueless. I go, I'm, I'm absolutely clueless. Friday in the morning, I go, look, I'm clueless. It's Friday. You know, I don't need to press. I don't need to reinvent the wheel. Very, very solid week. Let's just wait. You know, let's just wait what happens. And, you know, Nothing happened really basically for the first five hours of the day. You know, BYND, I was looking at levels to the downside, nothing happened. JD, I was looking at levels to the upside, nothing happened. Tulo, I was looking for the for the downside, nothing happened. Tesla, I was looking for the downside, nothing happened. Uh, Amazon finally woke up. Okay, Amazon finally woke up, and this is already uh, this was after uh, this was after I was um, already gone. So uh, 2385 rejected three times pre-market needs a strong new base to wake up. Uh, so here was Amazon and this is why yeah, I really like Amazon going through this week. So here was the 2385. It was right over here. You see this, you see these channels here, one, two, three, right? So all three of them got rejected 2385 and it finally, it, it finally got above this 2385. Nice move here, uh, all the way, uh, to the 24, uh, 24, 10, 24, 11 area. Uh, again, I think this whole range just needs to confirm on Monday and there's going to be a macro range above here, right? If it could just confirm the macro range here, uh, which is the highs from April the 11th, then we have a shot to go back to 2450. So this is a super setup, just needs to uh, confirm. So if you are holding, uh, if you are holding uh, Amazon overnight, you know, it does look really, really good. Uh, and then, you know, I, there was no pivot to the downside on Tesla. So I go, hey, look, here's the upside of Tesla. Never triggered as well. Uh, Zoom I caught for a fractional trade. I mean, nothing, you know, nothing big. Again, I was at this point, I was already um, completely lost interest. I was so exhausted. So Zoom, and again, continues to be a monster. Uh, 7180, 72 uh, needs to build. Uh, so here was Zoom. Here's a 7180. Right here's the 7180, 72, uh, and you know, kind of popped up. Had, you know, had a nice pop. Um, you know, it looked. It, it was much stronger after I sold it. Uh, I just kind of wanted something for Friday. Uh, nothing. You know, I had a couple of uh, had a couple of, uh, of trades on on Tesla. I, the funny thing is, I had two trades on Tesla that stalled out. Uh, I lost, I think, a dollar forty combined on both of the trades. There was nothing really going on. I just kept on store. I kept on stalling. Uh, the area where I thought it was going to be a sneaky, sneaky pivot never got there. So, so I caught some uh, ZM. I lost a little bit of money, um, you know, paper cuts on, on Tesla. Nothing really going on for me on Friday. Then I kind of just lost interest. Uh, take on the way up. Uh, and again, this is kind of my point that everything, uh, everything triggered after I left. So uh, Baba203 needs to build. And I, I like Baba for, for uh, this week. Um, so here was Baba203. Again, here, you know, 203. 203, 203. It took out 203 finally after I left. Obviously, I uh, went to 204 and a half. I still, I still really like it. Uh, Roku got slammed. They said 11380. If it builds below, uh, can flush. Here was Roku. Again, this is all towards the end of the day. So if all you guys caught this thing, God bless. Uh, I didn't. So uh, 1380, right? So here was a 1380, and it went all the way down to 1240s. Uh, Again, I still like the Roku uh, for this week as well. Uh, and then again, just again, I just kept on writing. I go, it's a so far as a big snooze fest. I mean, just 
nothing going on. And I go, look, it's still valid if it gets down there. It never got down there. Uh, and then again, ironically, and I go, it's still valid, right? Something valid. And I go, something has to give here. And ironically, nothing gave. So there was nothing. There was a big dud on Amazon. Nothing happened with mRNA. Uh, yeah, and then I wrote yesterday's high 23.91 needs to build. Obviously, this is where uh, Amazon uh, put up a bigger candle. I go, look, take on the way up. It's a slower session. Just take on the way up. Um, and that was it. And that was it. But again, no complaints. Again, you know, your, your trading journey, you know, trading journey does not, um, there, there, there's no area in your trading journey that says you need to put on 35 trades a day. It just doesn't work that way. You're not, number one, you're not getting any value. Uh, number two, you are going to be burning mental equity, something that's very, very important that a lot of people just don't uh, acknowledge. I think it's almost like a taboo uh, conversation. Um, the actual mental health of what we have, what we go through every single day. And I think a lot of people look at it as soft or uh, look at it as uh, a weak attribute, but everybody goes through it. And I think you have to acknowledge how important the, your mental health uh, actually is. Um, you know, going into this week, again, uh, some good setups indeed. I like Amazon. Uh, ZM continues to be really, really strong. Um, I like Facebook. You know, I think Facebook looks good. Reclaim this area here just needs to confirm. Uh, Baba looks really, really good. Just needs to confirm this whole uh, linear regression line supply. Uh, Apple as well, right? Apple as well. Uh, you know, needs to kind of reclaim this 310 area as well. And I think the stocks that had big runs, um, you know, you could get a back test. I like, you know, I, I like too low sneaky area through uh, maybe Friday's low and it starts confirming here. You know, you could get a big drop and BYND, which has had a, a monster, monster run. I think it's getting tired. I think it just needs to reclaim these two channels here and then maybe you could get a move uh, down to the 122, 124 area. So again, guys, uh, I, I just want to, you know, share, uh, I just kind of wanted to kind of share like my, you know, not enlightening, but kind of where I am right now mentally. I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm just happy just to be alive. I'm just happy uh, to kind of go through this journey with everybody else. And I'm incredibly humbled, you know, to sit here uh, after 20 years of doing this. And it's just amazing, an amazing journey. So I wish everybody uh, a lot of love, man. A lot of love, a lot of happiness. Um, you know, don't give up on God. Okay, he's, you know, he or she uh, is not giving up on you. And at, at the end of the day, uh, when everything is said and done, the most important thing is just a smile on our faces. Guys, have an unbelievable uh, rest. God bless you all, love you all, and I'll see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.